partenaire du Université sport since 1979. Fier partenaire du sport universitaire depuis 1979. The Government of Canada. Le Gouvernement du Canada. By Bell, proud presenting partner of the 2023 Protocase U Sports Women's Basketball Final Eight. Pierre partenaire de l'Ultimit U Sport 2023. And by Protocase, proud title partner of the 2023 Protocase U Sports Women's Basketball Final Eight. Le partenaire en titre de l'Ultimit U Sport 2023. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Proto Case U Sports Women's Basketball Championships presented by Bell on CBC. I'm Alex McLeod along with Carly Clark as we get set to bring you this U Sports bronze medal game between the Alberta Pandas and St. Mary's Huskies. It was the Huskies suffering a 19-point loss at the hands of the Carlton Ravens in yesterday's semifinal action, while Alberta fell to the Queens Gales 72-62. Carly, what are your thoughts as we go into this one as teams try to secure that placing medal and grab the bronze in this afternoon's contest? I think it will be interesting to see today how both teams bounce back. Uh, I think it's always tough to take a loss in the national semifinal. You have your hopes and sight sets on that national championship. It'll be interesting to see how St. Mary's adapts without uh, Clara Gascoigne in the lineup, who steps up to start for her, and um, how they handle, I think, Alberta's depth and physicality, especially without her in the lineup. We're going to step away momentarily as we turn things over to our public address announcer. We got our starting lineups introduced. Good afternoon and welcome to the 2023 Proto Case U Sports Women's Basketball Championship, presented by Bell and hosted by Cape Breton University. U Sports and CBU promote good sportsmanship by athletes, coaches, and spectators. We request your cooperation by supporting the athletes and referees in a positive manner. Profanity, racial, sexist, homophobic, and discriminatory language or other intimidating actions directed at referees, athletes, coaches, fans, or club representatives will not be tolerated and are grounds for removal from the site of competition. Cape Breton University Honor acknowledged that we are located in Mi'kmaq, the ancestral and traditional lands of the Mi'kmaq people. We are all treaty people. This bronze medal game features the St. Mary's Huskies and the Alberta Pandas. Joining us to help celebrate this matchup are our Basketball Cape Breton honor Honorary Game Captains, Rowan and Julia. The legacy left by this tournament will help pave the way for future basketball stars like Rowan and Julia to grow and thrive through sport. Thank you, Rowan, and thank you, Julia, for being here to help introduce the national basketball community to our home on Cape Breton Island. And now time to meet the starting lineup for the St. Mary's Huskies. A third year forward from Bayside, Nova Scotia, number four, Caitlin Power. A fourth year guard from Brantford, Ontario. Number nine, Alina McMillan. A fifth year guard from Dartmouth, Nova Scotia. Number 13, Sophia Whitmire. A third year forward from Fredericton, New Brunswick. 
number 14, Lucy Bomba. And a third year girl from Halifax, Nova Scotia, number 22, Aki Kobayashi. Head coach of the Huskies is Scott Monroe. Now time to meet the starting lineup for the Alberta Pandas. A fourth year forward from Regina, Saskatchewan. Number one, Shay McGusker. A fourth year guard from Spruce Grove, Alberta. Number four, Jenna Kerr. A fifth year guard from Calgary, Alberta. A second year girl from Edmonton, Alberta. Number nine, Morgan Harris. And a third year forward from Winnipeg, Manitoba. Number 13, Claire Signatovich. Head coach of the Pandas is Scott Edwards. Officials are Marie Pierre Houle, Joanna Weger, and Marla Van Gelder. Just about set to get things underway here for our bronze medal game here in beautiful Sydney, Nova Scotia, inside the Sullivan Fieldhouse. Starting lineup for St. Mary's, as we heard, Caitlin Power replacing Clara Gascoigne in the starting five. And she'll start with the tip and wins it for Widmeyer. She attacks against the Huskies on the board quickly. Good start for the Huskies. Nice finish over the length of Signatovich. Harris feeds McCusker. Hand off Harp. She'll shoot the three. Just short. Rebound taken by Kobayashi. Gets it to Beaumont. Spins in the lane. Goes up left hand. Blocked by Carey. They skip it, Harris wide open for three. That's good. Nice ball movement, nice save from Harris. Gets it 
gets her feet set, knocks it down. McMillan gets it to Beaumont. And good job there. And the uncontested layup for Harp will go. Jenna Harp picks up where she left off yesterday, making an impact on the defensive end. The Huskies to inbound on the baseline. 16 seconds in the shot clock. They get it in for McMillan. Her pass tipped out of bounds. Maybe not tipped. Looks like Huxley's coaching staff thinks it was tipped also. But nonetheless, we'll go the other way with Harris controlling for the Pandas. Harp now gets to carry. Good pressure from Kobayashi. Skip for Harris. Tries to feed Signatovich down low, but it's tipped out of bounds. Reese Hall will check into the game for McCusker. They get it in for Hall. Three to shoot. Harris from the corner has to get a shot up. She does and she hits it. Difficult floater drops for Morgan Harris. Beating that shot clock buzzer. Tip for sure that time. We'll see this difficult shot go down. Left hand floater. Sometimes you just got to get it on the rim and it has a chance. Whitmire attacking. Tipped out of bounds again. Active hands on the defensive end for the Pandas early. McMillan, long two. That one's good. Ends a 7-0 run for the Pandas. That's a big shot for McMillan to get going here today. She had a really tough shooting day. Carlton did a great job yesterday of disrupting her rhythm. She did not get clean looks. I think the Huskies will need a big game from her today. Are unable to get that elbow jumper to fall. It's Beaumont now the other way for the Huskies. Widmeyer attacks. And she's blocked by Signatovich. Harp. The corner, carry, three. That one's on the mark. Bit of an unlucky bounce from the, for the Huskies at the other end. Power got that steal, but great spacing and pace from Alberta. Widmeyer now trying to answer. Kick for Beaumont, she'll take the three. No good. Good hustle there from Power, but she's unable to save it. Corner three again from Carey. It's Karish and Semenik checking the game for the Pandas. Harp. For Carey, she'll take another three and hit again. Another great start for Carey today. This will be her last U Sports game as a a fifth-year senior, I'm sure she wants to make an impact in it and leave her career with a bronze medal. Good finish there from Power for contact. Our pressure by Kobayashi. Get it to Signatovich. Corner three, Harp. Just short. That will go out of bounds to the Huskies. Another look at that second carry three. McMillan gets it for Kobayashi. Power, they swing at Donaldson. 
kick to the corner. Three, Beaumont won't go. Offensive rebound power. Great start to the game for Caitlin Power. Getting to the boards, slashing back to back buckets. Her impact's being felt for sure. Taken away by Beaumont. Outlets it for Power. Skips it across to McMillan. And she attacks and gets blocked. So the Huskies will retain possession with 13 on the clock. Panda's length continuing to have an impact, protecting the rim. Great pass from McMillan there. Dump off to Power, good finish. McMillan just inside the arc. She hits again. 13-10 to score in favor of the Alberta Pandas halfway through this opening quarter. Harris. Lobs down low for Hall. And it's going to be a three-second lane violation. Pandas using a lot of their depth early, rotating players quickly. Trying to keep them fresh for the duration of this 40-minute game. Power gets it for the Huskies, over for Beaumont. They swing it to the corner, McMillan. Baseline kick for Beaumont, bobbled. And it's gonna go out of bounds to the Pandas. Both teams doing a nice job of applying ball pressure on the perimeter. I think it'll be interesting this third game in fourth days to see which team can sustain the defensive intensity throughout. Harris now. Seminick. Nice find down low. And the reverse finish goes for Hall. Donaldson, kick for Beaumont, gets it out Forgy. Deep three, McMillan, can't bank it home. Gonna have a reach-in foul called as Carey secures the rebound. Look at that nice dish from Semina can finish. Nice reverse finish by Hall. Power gets her first rest for the Huskies after a really active start. Finished there by Tanner. Tanner. We're going to have a timeout call by Coach Monroe. As the Pandas open up a seven point lead. Great ball movement by the Pandas to start. They're making St. Mary's defense move. Nice patience, dynamic attacks, finding open teammates. Great start here for Coach Edwards' squad. They've already rolled 10 players into the game in these first six or seven minutes, utilizing their depth as a strength and keeping their energy up. As you say, their third game in four days. It's not your typical schedule for the regular season. Anyway, you usually play those two games on the weekend and then get five days off. Teams work all year to be ready for these moments. I'm sure they'll both leave it all on the floor today. Alberta comes back on the floor, showing a little bit of full court pressure. Huskies able to beat it. McMillan. Finds Beaumont. Short corner jumper won't fall. Rebound taken by Harris. 
Good look by Beaumont. She had a tough offensive game yesterday as well. I think the Huskies will be keen to get her goal in a little bit as well. As she finds McMillan, who goes in for the layup on the other end. No whistle there, a lot of contact on the take. Nice job by Momont, stepping in on the help, stand straight up. Established solid position. Donaldson. Kick out for Steenbakers. Drive, Beaumont goes up. Still unable to get herself on the board. Length of the Pandas help, I think disrupting again. Hall. Kick. Three. No good. I think Beaumont got caught hooking on her box out there. She was trying to secure the rebound, got called for the foul. Bandos can't get it in. It's taken by Donaldson. McMillan for Forgy. Back from McMillan. Thought about the three. And her pass intercepted. Harp kick. Corner three. Carey. That one halfway down. Rims out. Forgy trying to answer for the Huskies. Driving baseline, kicks it across for Donaldson. Donaldson goes up left hand, can't finish. Pandas the other way with numbers. Someone's gonna go out of bounds. Both teams feel a little bit sped up at the rim, not quite getting on balance. Taking a little bit of contact, but being off balance, I think, has led to the no calls. You probably take a breath and get a little bit more settled before going up at the rim. Harris. Gets it in for Carey. Pass for Harp. She launches. Can't get the three to go. Offensive rebound, Carey. Mid-range pull up, no good. Kobayashi kicked to the corner. Steenbakers won't go. Huskies trying to push the pace in transition. And continuing to get good looks. So we're going to have a travel call here going against Jenna Hart. McMillan, McMillan will pace for the Huskies. Steenbakers to Widmeyer. Back to McMillan, she'll take the three. That one's good. Elena McMillan cutting into this Candace lead. Late stages, first quarter. McMillan looking today like the AUS All-Star that she is. Finding her rhythm from three. Harp attacking. Turnover, McMillan the other way. She's gonna go in for the uncontested layup, and we are tied at 17. McMillan with 11 of St. Mary's first 17 points, getting out in transition as well. And Carey can't beat the buzzer, so after one quarter of play, score is St. Mary's Huskies 17, Alberta Pandas 17. You see great transition from McMillan tying this one up. Back and forth first quarter so far. 
Nice response from St. Mary's after their timeout. Good run to finish the quarter to even things up. We got a look in at Coach Monroe's huddle there. Looks like McMillan will get a little break to start the second quarter. Give her an extended break through the quarter break. Once again, following the conclusion of this game, we will have our gold medal match between the Carlton Ravens and Queens Gales. We're gonna step away for a moment. Here a word from our sponsors. You're watching the Proto Case 2023 U Sports Women's Basketball Championships presented by Bell. for second quarter action. The feed down low, sets up Carey. Nice, nice back screen for Carey. Gets a clean look at the rim. FLW Analytics from Boost Innovation is proud to bring the 2023 U-Sports Basketball Final Eight on CBC. This Canadian-built military-grade software provides guidance on eight performance mindset characteristics as well as knowledge of tactics and strategy in basketball. FLW Analytics proven technology is ready for its Canadian release. Learn more about the launch of FLW Analytics in Canada by visiting flwanalytics.com or scan the QR code on your screen. FLW Analytics, where champions go to improve their mindset. Donaldson quickly for the Huskies. Beaumont pulls up, won't go. Rebound taken by Carey. She finds her. Blocking call going against Forgy. Real close. I don't think Forgy quite got set there. More great pace from the Huskies. Another altered shot from Signatovich at the rim. Before he's still moving a bit to her left, getting called for the block. Power will check back into the game for the Huskies. Semenik into the game for the Pandas. A little pressure from the Huskies. Dish down low. It's Sigatovic showing a finish. Alberta doing a great job so far of penetrating, getting to the paint, and finding their bigs. And baseline pass goes out of bounds. Pandas will take over. It's Harp. Gets to McCusker. Nice pass back door. Little give and go. Gets Harp an easy two. Football pass. Sets up Widmeyer. Can't finish. She was looking for the whistle. Didn't get one. A little pressure on that last score. So we have another look at it. Nice screen by McCusker on the pass. Clean finish for Harp. Hussies get it in for Beaumont. <laughs> Tip out of bounds, Clover Main with St. Mary's. Signatovic just continuing to show why she's a defensive player of the year in the country. 
altering shots, deflections, blocks. He's gonna have a travel call on the baseline. Her. Find Signatovic. Fakes the handoff, drives, gets it off glass, no good. Rebound tipped to Widmeyer. Kick out, McMillan three, just short. Looked good, another clean look for McMillan. Great counter with pace from Alberta off that missed three. Two free throws coming for Kia Easton Ehidi Ohanma. First one good. Second one falls as well. Pressure again from Alberta as they continue to extend their defense a little bit. Starting to stretch the lead against the Huskies. Yet to score this quarter. Another turnover. As Carey loses control on that, but it's going to be knocked out of bounds. <laughs> we'll stay with the Pandas. Three straight tur turnovers for the Huskies. We may see Scott Monroe call a timeout here. Alberta gets another bucket. We get it in, Signatovich. Good footwork down low, gets her own board. And we will see that timeout from Coach Monroe as the Pandas have opened up their largest lead of the game, getting it to double digits at 10. Lots of challenges for the Huskies right now, handling that depth inside, physicality. Forced the first miss, but nice job by Signatovich to stay with it and put the second one in. And the best of U Sports women's hockey hit the ice next weekend at the 2023 U Sports Women's Hockey Championship in Montreal. Catch all the action getting March 16th on cbcsports.ca and CBC Gym. Timeouts remaining to the final 7-18 in the first half for the Huskies. Hopefully Coach Monroe got his message across here. They look to stay within striking distance in our bronze medal game. More pressure from the Pandas out of the timeout. It'll be an eight second backcourt call. And he's getting it in for Harris. Signatovich. Now Carey. Three, no good. Tipped out. Taken by Donaldson. She finds Widmeyer. Widmeyer attacks. Can't finish. Huskies coaching staff asking the referees to look for the push off with that from Alberta's guards on their penetration. Offensive rebound and put back. Easton Ehidi Ohamba. McMillan trying to calm things down now for the Huskies. the corner, Widmeyer three, won't go. Offensive rebound, power, 
And she's fouled in the act. Zone defense continues to disrupt the Huskies' offense. We have another look at that offensive rebound put back. First free throw is good for Power. Second one rims out. Carry for three. Gets another one to fall. McCarry with her third hit from deep today. Puts her into double figures. Alberta's fourth three of the game after only hitting one yesterday. Forgy trying to answer. Short gets her own rebound. Kick out McMillan. She's going to be fouled on the pass. Donaldson inbound. We're going to have an offensive foul call. An illegal screen going against Chris Millen. Corgi was on her way to a wide open layup at the rim, but for a reason. Tall. Hands off for Carey. Drive down the lane, puts it up, won't go. Rebound taken by Forgy. Quickly up for McMillan. Some relentless Tur pressure here from the Pandas. Yeah, turnovers continue to be an issue here for the Huskies. Up to nine on the on the game so far. Harp gets it for Carey. Skips across back for Harp. We have another three second lane violation call. Second time they've gotten Hall on that this game. She's doing a nice job of battling from position. Obviously just staying in there a little bit too long. Kobayashi gets it to Beaumont. Back for Kobayashi. Kick out McMillan. To the corner, Forgy three. Rattles out. Harp now the other way. Gets it to Tanner. She kicks to Carey, who steps on the sideline in the corner. St. Mary's still looking for their first basket of the quarter. Felt like that last one was halfway down. Continue to see some pressure back to the zone from Alberta. Huskies narrowly avoid, avoid another turnover. McMillan. Skip to the corner, Beaumont, she'll pull again. This time goes down. Beaumont finally getting the first field goal of the quarter to go for the Huskies. Beaumont with it again. Hand off McMillan, she'll shoot. Won't hit. Offensive rebound, Kobayashi. The three, Forgy, no good. Another offensive rebound for the Huskies. This time, Power. And Beaumont gets her shot blocked out of bounds by Harp. Great job by St. Mary's, creating some extra possessions. Again, getting great looks that just aren't falling, but those great looks often turn into second chances with offensive rebounds.
Ten to shoot on the shot clock for St. Mary's. They get it in for McMillan. Beat Steenbakers down low. Back for McMillan. Has to force one up. Can't get it to go. Well, McMillan takes it right back from Tanner. Drives and gets the M1. Unbelievable effort from McMillan there. Hustles back into the play. Gets the steal. Through contact at the rim. Tough finish. The Pandas will use their first time out of the half. Ten point advantage for Alberta. Elena McMillan leading the charge for the Huskies. She's up to 13 points in this first half. Saw a couple possessions in the first quarter from the Huskies with a little bit of pressure. We'll see if they come out anything after this free throw. Alberta's been just a little bit sped up on offense, probably looking to settle back down again. Maybe get Emma Carey involved. Gemma, Jenna Harp's had a bit of a quiet game offensively so far, but continues to facilitate. McMillan now looking to complete the three-point play. Won't get the roll. Offensive rebound, Steenbaker is up and in. Great follow and offensive rebounds. Giving the Huskies the extra chances they need. Harp gets to Tanner. Back out Harp. Spins and loses her footing. Turns it over. Kobayashi to Beaumont. Kick out. Steenbaker's three. That one's good. Steenbakers. Big effort off the bench here. Cutting the Pandas lead to five. 9 0 run by the Huskies. Lots of energy coming off that McMillan steal. Good second chance effort there for McCusker. Alberta needed that answer. Kobayashi. They get it to Forey in the corner. Up top, Beaumont. The blow by. Gets to the rim. Can't finish with the left, but she's going to drop two free throws at the line. Beaumont starting to make her offensive presence felt a little bit more as this quarter goes on. Here's another look at the three point from Steenbakers. Sigmatovich and Carey quickly back into the game for Alberta. It's the first free throw, no good from Beaumont. Second one off. Saw this a little bit from St. Mary's yesterday too, but tough to leave those points at the free throw line. Carey unable to hit on the other end. One thirty-eight to go here in the first half. Seven point Alberta advantage. Alberta stays in their one two two pressure. Back to match up this time out of it. Beaumont, six to shoot. Gets to McMillan. Gets it on rim, but can't go. Rebound. Quickly outletted. 
the attack. Tignatovich waved that off as he gets called for the travel. Nice job by St. Mary's, just swarming Signatovich on that catch, not giving her any space to pivot or shoot. McMillan and Kobayashi play catch in the backcourt to beat the press. It's up for Forgy. Beaumont driving baseline. Pick up McMillan, extra pass, Forgy, three, just off. Gets her own rebound, can't finish. Another rebound, Steenbakers. Another rebound, Steenbakers. But she's stripped. Signatovich down low, draws the foul. Didn't get the results she hoped for, but Steen Baker's effort right now is being felt out there. Both her and Power have come in with, with great intensity today, picking up that, the absence of Gascoigne. First free throw, no good. Millendale the other way. Five second differential, game clock to shot clock. As McMillan loses the handle, but it's tipped. We'll stay with the Huskies. McMillan comes up a little bit hobbling there. Donaldson's gonna come into the game for her. She's got to expend a lot of energy. They get it in for Kobayashi. Four to shoot. Has to force one up. Can't get it to go. Three seconds to shoot for the Pandas. The half court heave. Off the mark. So at halftime, your score is Alberta Pandas 34, St. Mary's Huskies 27. We'll be back with you shortly for some first half highlights. You're watching the Proto Case 2023 U Sports Women's Basketball Championships presented by Bell on CBC. Dream of every night. La seule chose qui te préoccupe, c'est la gloire. Le cheminement de la réussite. Of pushing yourself further than ever before. But the true glory is in the shadows. Les sacrifices que tu fais. Quand toutes les chances sont contre toi. When you can't push one more second. Chase the glory. They don't do it for the likes or for the shares. They do it for the fun of it, for the thrill, for the camaraderie, for the memories. CBC Sports, just because they love it. Hey, 
NYU sports fans, check out shop.usports.ca for this week's promotional item from the Nike Team Collection. Visitez le shop.usports.ca pour en profiter de la promotion de la semaine de la collection Nike Team. for the next two weeks. I think we can make this work. <laughs> Sick. This room, bye! Derek, something's wrong. Mom, Dad! They have cable internet. Everyone in the car. No! But once you're used to Bell Pure Fiber Internet, no! anything else is terrifying. The nominees for the Nan Cop Award presented to the U Sports Women's Basketball Player of the Year are En nomination pour le prix Nan Cop présenté à l'Athlète de l'année en basketball féminin U Sport, des sports universitaires de l'Atlantique from the AUS, Haley McDonald, Université Acadia University, du Réseau du Sport étudiant du Québec from the RSEQ, Amakin Siciliano, Université Bishops University, du Sport universitaire de l'Ontario from the OUA, Sarah Gates, Université McMaster University. Et de l'Association West Canadienne, from Canada West, Carly Alstrom, l'Université de la Saskatchewan, University of Saskatchewan. La laureate du prix NANCOP décerné à la joueuse de l'année en basketball féminin U-Sport est, the winner of the NANCOP Award as the U-Sports Player of the Year in Women's Basketball is, Sarah Gates, Université McMaster University. back to take a look at some first half highlights here in our bronze medal game with Alberta holding a seven point lead it's an early three from Morgan Harris got things going from Alber for Alberta that yep. difficult left hand floater to beat the buzzer I 
And McCary also had a hot start, 11 points in the first half, three for seven from three. Also nice to see Elena McMillan get rolling again. So we see that nice dish from her. 13 points on the half, six for 12 from the floor. Nice find down low for that reverse finish for Hall. See if St. Mary's has the energy in the second half to continue to defend their paint. There's another three from McMillan. Carry off the back screen to finish at the rim. And great pass from McCusker to Harp at the rim. Lots of inside touches and points for Alberta in that first half. Have a big second half coming up for St. Mary's. A nice job getting it under 10 going into the break. In men's action in Halifax, it is the Ottawa Gigi's leading Victoria, 73-47 with just over four minutes to go in the fourth quarter in that bronze medal game. Nice bounce back for the GGs after a tough loss to the Ravens last night. As right, we're gonna step away for a moment to hear another word from our sponsors, we'll be back with you momentarily for a wrap up of first half statistics. This season, catch the best in Atlantic University sport excitement at home or on the go with AUS TV. Soccer, rugby, football, volleyball, hockey, basketball, and more. Tune in at AUSTV.ca. All your favorite university teams showcasing their talents in one place. AUS TV, powered by Bell Alliant. They bring it to the court. They bring it to the field. They bring it to the ice. And now they bring it to you. Presented by Subway, the official fuel of Atlantic University sport. They don't do it for the likes or for the shares. They do it for the fun of it, for the thrill, for the camaraderie, for the memories. CBC Sports, just because they love it. Hey, you sports fans, check out shop.usports.ca for this week's promotional item from the Nike Team Collection. Visitez le shop.usports.ca pour en profiter de la promotion de la semaine de la collection Nike Team.
The nominees for the Kathy Shields Award as the U Sports Women's Basketball Rookie of the Year are En nomination pour le prix, Kathy Shields présenté à la recrue de l'année en basketball féminin U Sport 2023, des sports universitaires de l'Atlantique from the AUS, Bianca Helming, Université Acadia University, du réseau de sport étudiant du Québec from the RSEQ, Daniela Bengo, Université McGill University. Du sport universitaire de l'Ontario from the OUA, Jacqueline Urban, Université Carleton University. Et de l'Association West Canadienne from Canada West, Logan Reeder, Université de la Saskatchewan, University of Saskatchewan. La lauréate du prix Cathy Shields décernée à la recrue de l'année en basketball féminin U-Sport est The winner of the Cathy Shields Award for the U-Sports Rookie of the Year in Women's Basketball is Jacqueline Urban, Université Carleton University. at our first half stats brought to you by Wilson, the official ball of U Sports Basketball. Alberta shooting a respectable 40% from the field and 28% from deep. And small sample size for our free throw attempts. Very disciplined half from both teams. Just the four shots at the line for Alberta. And St. Mary's struggling one of five at the line. Yeah, we're going to need to see St. Mary's start to knock down some shots, I think, to have a, have a chance. They struggled to, to make shots yesterday. Some late second quarter turnovers from Alberta got them back in the game a little bit. We'll see if they can get things going to start the half. Huskies will control to open the third quarter. It's Beaumont. To Widmeyer. Spins, goes up, won't finish. Rebound taken by McCusker. And it's thrown away. Tough take by Widmeyer. Had a pretty quiet first half. I think St. Mary's will like to see her get going a little bit offensively as well. McMillan. Tries to return it for Widmeyer, but it's tipped away by Harp. McMillan now. Skip to the corner, Beaumont for three. Can't get it to go, follows her own rebound, but bounces it on the end line. Shot clock winding down, Beaumont had a little bit more time from the defense, but not enough time from the shot clock, I think, to really get her feet set. Great follow, but just drops out bounds. So it's going to be tipped out of bounds. Pandas will retain possession. Harris. Gets it in for Carey. She pulls up. Can't hit the mid-range. Good effort there by Harris, knocking it off of the Huskies player down low. Yeah, heads up play and awareness there. Then having to walk the tightrope to avoid it, bouncing off her own knee. Gonna have a foul called against Power. back to the Huskies. Nice defensive job by Beaumont, fight around as Signatovich tried to battle for a position in the paint. Alberta sticking with her 1-2-2 pressure to start the half. Kobayashi for Beaumont. Back out Kobayashi. Spins, gets it to go off the glass. Great composure and patience from Kobayashi. Alberta's pressure is doing an effective job of not just getting steals from time to time, but also just taking away some time in Husky's offensive possession. That one won't rattle down. 
to Zigatovic. Kobayashi the other way. Kick out Beaumont. Gets to the rim, blocked by McCusker. Great attack by Beaumont. Blue pass, Signatovic on the perimeter, but even better help from McCusker. McMillan, step back three. No good, rebound taken, Signatovic. Kobayashi picking her pocket from behind. McMillan sets her feet and fires. Won't go. We're going to have a rebounding foul going against Power. That's her third. Turnover is a challenge for Alberta here to start the half. Coach Edwards doesn't look thrilled. Harris gets it for Carey. Now Signatovic. Back for Harris. Hand off Hart. Five to shoot. She'll shoot from deep. Ben hits it. Jenna Hart tickling the twine from beyond the arc. Harp's just been so steady for Alberta, I think all season, but particularly through this playoff run and national championship. Does all the little things that are required. Great composure as a fourth year point guard. As Semenik will check back into the game for Harris. Huskies get it in for Widmeyer. Unable to hit the free throw line jumper. Her crossover baseline gets it to go. After a quiet first half for Harp on offense, starting to heat up a little bit here. Five straight points. McMillan trying to answer. Won't drop. It's Hall unable to chase down that board. It'll be Husky's ball on the baseline. <laughs> Quick whistle there to make sure his shirts were tucked in. No call there on the drive by McMillan. A lot of contact on that baseline. Looked to me like she took a bump, but officials are letting them play. Kobayashi has to shoot. Won't go. Rebound fought for. Battle between Steenbakers and Hall. And it will go Steenbakers' way as the Huskies get the ball back. Decide to change the call, it will go to the Pandas. Much to the dismay of St. Mary's coaching staff. Harp for Carey. She'll shoot. Off the mark on that three. Nice job by Kobayashi getting through that screen. Getting a hand up to contest. Six oh one to go here in the third quarter. Ten point panda advantage. It's McMillan for Donaldson. Got it down low. Steambakers goes up off glass and gets two. Nice patience by Steambakers in the paint. Single coverage, good clean footwork, nice finish. Pandas get it down low for Karash. Taken now, McMillan the other way. 
Drops it off Kobayashi. Gets hit. He will head to the line for a pair. Good start to the half here for St. Mary's. I think creating some turnovers, forcing some tough shots defensively. Now they need to knock a few of these down to continue to cut into the Alberta lead. Gets the first one to go. Second falls as well. Harp. Looking at Kobayashi. Uh, that one's blocked. We'll stay with the Pandas with seven on the clock. Another nice job by Beaumont defensively stepping up with good help. She's still struggling to, to convert offensively, but her, her impact on defense is certainly huge for the Huskies. Drive, Signatovich. She's gonna get called for the travel. Another dice job by Beaumont. And it's a platoon swap here for the Pandas. for the Huskies. Kicks it out McMillan. Back for Beaumont to three, just short. Rebound Hall. Harris, hands off for Carey. Good pressure from Donaldson. Carey, bullet pass down low for Hall. The fadeaway won't go. Offensive rebound, McCusker gets it. Tough break by the, for the Huskies. Another solid defensive possession. McCusker just got great offensive rebounding position. McMillan gets it down low. And Steenbank was just called for the travel. Harris now, gets it for McCusker. Hand off for Carey. Uh, pass is tipped and taken by Kobayashi. Gets it over for Beaumont. She goes up and finishes off the glass for two. Huskies continue to apply a lot of pressure defensively. Nice to see them convert into a score. Cut the lead to six for a second time. Mid-range jumper, good. Tanner. McMillan now on the other end for the Huskies. This is for Beaumont to drive, baseline. A lot of contact again, again, no whistle. So we go out of bounds. And Canada's best university men's hockey teams head to Charlottetown next week for the 2023 Cavendish Farms University Cup Championship. Catch every second of the exciting action beginning Friday, Thursday, March 16th, only on CBC Gem, CBC Sports.ca, and the CBC Sports app. Beaumont starting to assert herself a little bit more offensively. Three straight possessions, the Huskies have gone to her. Able to connect on the free throws. 
like Alberta comes back to Signatovich. See if she can provide a little bit more disruption on Beaumont offensively. Harris. Loses the handle on it. The band is back to their starting lineup now. Harp checking in. Donaldson. Gets it for Beaumont. That pass over the head of Donaldson. Perhaps the Signatovich effect there. Beaumont looked to attack. Had nothing at the rim. Forced a tough kick out pass. Harris. Gets it to Harp. Spin move, floater, won't go. Rebound, Beaumont. McMillan gets it back. Kick for Beaumont. Five to shoot for McMillan. Gets it over Forgy. Sidestep, three, just off. Offensive rebound power. Beaumont attacking, stripped by Signatovich. Huskies continue to get some great chances here, but just can't seem to break into this Alberta six-point lead. Power's fourth offensive rebound on the game. Corner three, Harris, that one goes. Big shot from the corner, Morgan Harris. Harris up to eight points on the game. Hadn't seen her score since the first quarter. McMillan. Power hand off McMillan, blocked by McCusker. Six to shoot for the Huskies. Widmeyer will check back in. In for Beaumont, try and get her a rest here through the quarter break. Aaron inbound pass, taken away by Harris. You know, it's Harp. She attacks and draws the foul on Donaldson. Nice job by the Pandas creating a turnover and Harp just continues to be so steady. Great pace, gets herself to the foul line. First one is good. Second goes through as well. As Kia Easton Ehidi Ohanma will check back into the game for the Pandas. Huskies had two or three opportunities to cut the lead to four from six. All of a sudden, it's back up to 11. Forgy. Donaldson. Top Widmeyer, three. Short on that attempt. Band is coming the other way. Harp feeds it down low. And it's... Signatovic's drawing the foul. That one will go against Power, her fourth personal foul. Great job by Signatovic, just running the floor, getting position at the rim, putting pressure on St. Mary's defense. First free throw, no good for Signatovich. Second rattles in. 20 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Huskies in hold for the final shot. Millen, kick for Steenbakers. To the corner, Donaldson. 
Gets there for Widmeyer. She'll shoot. No good. Rebound tipped. And that'll do it for our third quarter. So after 30 minutes of play, the score is Alberta Pandas 49, St. Mary's Huskies 37. We'll be back with you after a quick word from our sponsors. You're watching the Proto Kings 2023 Esports Women's Basketball Championships presented by Bell on CBC. Sports fans, check out shop.usports.ca for this week's promotional item from the Nike Team Collection. Visit shop.usports.ca to profit of the promotion of the semaine de la collection Nike Team. Just about set for our fourth quarter of play here in our bronze medal game. Alberta holding a 12 point lead over St. Mary's. St. Mary's shooting woes continue, just two of 23 from the three point line today. Definitely some capable shooters out there, maybe some tired legs. Percentages are still in their favor, so maybe we'll see a run here in this fourth quarter. And you can get your official U Sports Shape gear on sale Monday. To celebrate championship month here in March. Harris controlling, gets it over to Easton. They swing it for Sugnatovic. Back for Harris. I think there was a kick ball in the play. St. Mary's doesn't like it, but Alberta ball on the end line. Mid-range jumper, no good for Harp. Forgy coming the other way for the Huskies. Gets to McMillan. Kick to the corner for Widmeyer. Up top, Steen Bakers for three. Rattles home. Friendly shooters touch there. Marlow Steen Bakers with her second make from deep today. Steen Bakers with a great, great game so far today. We didn't see her a lot yesterday, I think primarily due to matchups. Matches up well today against Alberta. Provides a physical presence for St. Mary's and has converted on the offensive end. We're gonna get the offensive foul called against Harris. Her second personal foul. Bakers. Now Widmeyer. For McMillan. Back to Widmeyer. Drive, floats it, won't go. Gets her own board. Attacks again. Kick out. Steam Bakers three. This time a bit heavy 
So we'll go out of bounds to the Pandas. Thought we were going to see a timeout from St. Mary's before that last possession. I don't think they got it in in time. McMillan has had a rest this half. It may be to get her a little bit of a break. Carey kicks corner three. Harp just off. Offensive rebound, McCusker. But we're going to get a rebound foul going against the Bandas. Goes against Signatovich. Now the Huskies will get that timeout. Lead back down to nine. We have another look at the Steen Bakers three. Friendly roll on that one. CBC Sports is your home for the 2023 U Sports Women's Volleyball Championship from Vancouver. Catch the best of University Women's Volleyball starting Friday, March 17th on CBC Gem, CBC Sports.ca, and CBC Olympics YouTube channel. Nine point lead for Alberta. Looking to claim the bronze medal here at the Proto Case 2023 U Sports Women's Basketball Championships. See who Scott Monroe goes to coming out of this timeout for St. Mary's. Seen lots of pressure in the full court from Alberta. We'll see if Scott Edwards' Alberta team continues to extend their defense. Looks like some player-to-player -player pressure. Beaumont. Steen Bakers, now Forgy. McMillan up top. Feeds Steen Bakers, blocked by Signatovic. That was secure the tip. And now Harp the other way. It looked like Forgy slipped. As Harp goes in for the layup. Great speed again from Harp in the full court. Up to 13 points on the day. Backdoor pass by Dylan gets knocked off of Donaldson. Harris will slow the pace for Alberta. Alberta just continues to be so steady. Every time St. Mary's gets a sniff, it seems they have an answer. Donaldson gets that one tipped out of bounds. McMillan. Beats Steen Bakers. Over to Donaldson, they get it down low. And Beaumont blocked. Carey, big defensive stand. Nice offensive action from the Huskies. Got the switch from Alberta. And it's Harp able to finish yeah. at the rim. Second time today to McCuster to Harp. On that action, great pass, great finish. Steen Bakers is foul. We see the McCusker to Harp connection once again. Huskies get it in for McMillan. Deep three, no good. Rebound taking carry. They got it down low. Signatovich can't finish.
Donaldson. Can't get it out for Steenbager that's taken away. Another deflection for Signatovic on the defensive end. Alberta's defense just continues to be so disruptive. Carey can't finish. Offensive rebound. Signatovic goes up. Can't get it to go. Rebound taken by McMillan. Halfway through this fourth quarter. Forgy can't cut into the Panda lead. Harp slowing the pace. Tries to feed Signatovic down low. It's tipped away. Forgy feeds Steenbakers outside Beaumont. Gets that one to go from deep. Fatigue setting in a little bit for both sides here. A bit of a long stretch without a whistle. St. Mary's finally sees a three going go down for them. Four of 28 so far. Semenik attacks, gets the foul call. That one goes against Steenbakers for second personal. See St. Mary's take their second time out of the half. See if they can gather themselves for a final push in these last four minutes. Canada's best university men's volleyball teams will head to Hamilton next weekend for the 2023 U Sports Men's Volleyball Championship. Catch every second of the action meeting Friday, March 17th, only on CBC Gem, CBC Sports.ca, and the CBC Olympic YouTube channel. Jenna Harp picking it up here in the second half. She now leads all scorers with 15. McCary had that big first half. She's been quiet here in the second. She's got 11. Meanwhile, for St. Mary's, it's McMillan pacing the way with 13 points, seven boards. And Steenbakers follows with 10. First free throw is good for Semenik. Second good as well. McMillan. The screen also. for Beaumont. Alberta showing some zone out of this timeout. Sigmund at the top. That three goes down. Beaumont. Seven hook attack and kick. Corner three. That one's good. Easton Ahidi Ahanma. A big answer as the Huskies finally get a three to go. We'll try once more. Beaumont can't hit. Another great hustle play from Power, chasing down that loose ball, deflecting out of bounds off Alberta. They get it in for Power. And Kobayashi still on the sideline when she received that pass. Harris, 3.20 to go here, fourth quarter. 12 point Alberta lead. Harp. 
They're working for Harris. Up top, carry three. Won't drop. Good hustle there by her, knocking that one out of bounds. Hot start for Carey. First quarter, been a little bit quieter since. A few more shots falling short at this point in the game in the tournament. Legs get a little bit tired. Beaumont taken away by Carey. Over for Harris, and they'll slow the pace. Use the shot clock here. McCusker. Finds Harp. Down low, Signatovich. Kick out, three. Short from Carey. Rebound taken by Beaumont. We're going to have a reach-in foul. Fouled against McCusker. The fourth team foul against Alberta. Alberta's getting close to tasting that bronze medal. Just have to keep their composure. A few more defensive stops. McMillan drives. Finds Kobayashi in the lane. Can't finish. Offensive rebound, McMillan. Kick, corner, three, Kobayashi. That one tipped. Great effort there by Signatovich. Nice find down long with McCusker with an easy one off the pass from Carey. Under two minutes to go. Power gets it taken away. Harris comes up with it. Signatovich again just showing her length, physicality, creates another steal. Tovich up top. The blow by attack and finish through contact. Timeout St. Mary's. As the lead has ballooned to 14. Coach Monroe trying to put together one last push for his Husky squad. The Alberta faithful consents it. Minute 23 to go in the fourth quarter. It's a 16-point advantage now for the Pandas. Credit to Alberta. Defensively have, have shown their length of physicality and their ability to disrupt. St. Mary's is now another tough shooting day. We knew they were going to have to knock some shots down from the outside. I think they have a chance at this one. They just haven't fallen for them. Shooting just 16% from deep thus far. St. Mary's will return most of this team next season. Sophia Widmeyer, I believe, is fifth year senior. Otherwise, pretty much everyone else is back. That's power and Donaldson get crossed up there. Widmeyer back into the game for the Huskies along with Empering him. A little confusion on that pass. I think Signatovich thought someone was behind her. There wasn't. Empering him. The power. We get it out for Forgy. Beaumont three. Short. Rebound taking Signatovich. 50 seconds to go here.
Harris for Carey. Kick out, pull up. That one's through for Harp. Looks like Alberta will leave Emma Carey on the floor to finish her last U Sports game. And she'll finish her career. She's had a great one as a bronze medalist. Three second differential game clock to shot clock. And it's taken away by Forgy. And Bauer just going to dribble at the clock. So your 2023 U Sports Women's Basketball Bronze Medalists, the Alberta Pandas. With a 64-46 victory. 64-49 victory over the St. Mary's Huskies. We're gonna take a quick step away as we await the Nike players of the game. Please welcome Shannon Lynch, president of Cape Breton Beverages Pepsi, and Lisa Robertson, U Sports technical delegate, to present today's awards. First, the Nike players of the game. From the Huskies, number 11, Marlo Steenbakers. The Nike player of the game for the Huskies, Marlo Steenbakers. Finishing with 10 points. We'll go along with four boards. Big spark off the bench for the Huskies in that first half. And from the Pandas, number nine, Morgan Harris. Morgan Harris claiming Nike Player of the Game honors for the Alberta Pandas. She finishes with eight points on a perfect three of three shooting. game for Morgan. Really steady at both ends. Two assists, three rebounds, two steals. And now All around great effort from that complete Alberta the Alberta team. Showed their depth. Well, we're going to throw things over to our public address announcer as we have the presentation of the bronze medals to the Alberta Pandas. If we could have Members of the Alberta Pandas come one at a time to collect their medals. We'll begin now.
Congratulations to the bronze medal winners, the Alberta Pandas. And don't forget, fans, in just over an hour's time, we'll have the tip off of the gold medal game between Queens and Carleton. So that will do it for our bronze medal game. We'll be back with you in just over an hour as the Carlton Ravens will take on the Queens Gales in the pursuit of U Sports basketball supremacy. The game kicks off at approximately 6 p.m. Atlantic time. We hope you'll join us for that one as it promises to be another exciting clash and a rematch of the OUA final. Watching the Proto Case 2023 U Sports Women's Basketball Championships presented by Bell on CBC. Sports on CBC, Les Championnats U-Sport, brought to you in part by, vous êtes présenté par, Nike Team, Just Do It, Fettle, Baron, exclusive supplier of U-Sports championship rings, le fournisseur exclusive des bagues de championnat U-Sport, Fox 40, celebrating a decade of the Fox 40 U-Sports Coach of the Year program, fier partenaire des prix de l'entraîneur de l'année U-Sport depuis 10 ans, by Veraburn, proud medical supplier to university sports since 1979, fier partenaire du sport universitaire depuis 1979, the Government of Canada, le gouvernement du Canada, by Bell, proud presenting partner of the 2023 Protocase U-Sports Women's Basketball Final 8, fier partenaire de l'ultime 8 U-Sport 2023, and by Protocase proud title partner of the 2023 Protocase U Sports Women's Basketball Final 8. Le partenaire en titre de l'Ultime 8 U Sport 2023.